hand. No, because I see you lonely. Someone disappointed you. Are you hearing me? Yes, I. Huh? Yes. Come on! Come here. Let's break this case of marriage. Because I saw you alone. You are hearing me? Huh? Yes. You want to marry? I gave up already. You gave up? <laughs> you gave up on what? I don't want to be married anymore. You don't want to be married again. That's what I'm saying. I see a disappointment on you. And this was very bad. You gave up. How do you give up when... Uh, how do you give up when you marry a wrong person? Huh? How can you give up when you marry a wrong person? Marry a wrong person. You are saying what? How did, can you give up when you marry a wrong person? Huh? Shut up! Let me tell you, God does not sustain something that he has never started. If you think your marriage is having problems and God does not care, ask God if it's him who allowed that marriage to exist. You are saying what? Huh? You are saying I must shut up. Huh? Why you say I must shut up? Huh? Who are you? Who are you? I'm sure she's coming for the first time. The way this demon is crying, I'm sure she's coming for the first time. Who are you? empty. True, prophet. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes, it's true. I'm seeing your womb. Nothing is coming out of your womb. It's true. So now, you want children? Very you much. want children? Yes, prophet. From when? Yo, it's 10 years now. It's been 10 years? Yes. So God must give you a child. Amen. This man must pray. There are a lot of things that God wants to do with him. He must pray, brother. He must pray. Come on. So I believe after I pray for you, expect something to happen. Come on. Jesus. Come on. You are free. Uh -huh. Kill this child. You hear me? Don't, don't, don't remove this child. Amen. You hear me? Because you are confused. Sometimes you feel like maybe abortion can be an option. Amen. Because of how this man is treating you now. Amen. So now I'm telling you, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't remove this child. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Don't remove you, this child. If you are failing, will help you. Amen. I'm telling you, if you are failing to take care, because there's no one, how many weeks you're pregnant? Um, six. Six. Six, six seven weeks, yeah. Six. It's how many months? I think one month. Mm. So now let me tell you, don't remove this child. Six weeks is still very early. Don't remove this child. Uh, this child will become something. Amen. So now this thing of confusion, say, ah, let me do a abortion, don't do it. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for this deliverance. Amen. In Jesus' name. Because this man now doesn't want anything to do with you. Don't worry. It doesn't start by you. Amen. You know, some of us were like this. Uh, it started a long time ago. 
how do you make someone pregnant and say uh, you, you know you don't want anything to do with them running away from responsibility in Jesus name thank you Holy Spirit for this life amen you must forgive your auntie forgive your auntie you hear me yes if you hold her in your heart you're going to hold your life you hear me yes you're a Christian forgive her move forward blessings will come you're you hearing what I'm trying to say yes so forgive her this issue of chasing you out of the house forgive her you know later in the years God can give you more houses you know the future belongs to God not people everyone has got a history come from somewhere so if someone treats you this way speak this way about you forgive them and let's see if 10 years to come things will be like that let's see God loves you, brother. Let me pray for you. Let me get someone to help me there with that demo. Let me tell you this. You remember you were once very sick? Yes. Huh? Yes. Long time ago. Yes. Huh? Yes. Pray that this sickness must not come back. Yes. Because sometimes you are feeling your body is not fine. Yes. You hear me? Yes. So now let's pray that this curse must not come back to you. Yes. God loves you. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you for the plan of the church. There's Amen. no money now. Amen. You hear me? There's no money. God will give you money. Amen. You'll, you'll build this church. God will give you money. Come here. You'll feel something moving here. Yes. Huh? Yes. Oh, you're surprised I'm telling you? No. Because it's like you're not expecting that. Yeah, I started to eat last week Sunday. Last week Sunday. Yes. It moves here, comes up. Yes. To your throat. Huh? Yes. And you feel like you want to say, ah, you want yes. to vomit. Yes. So now this is an object you have been given. God will set you free. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. Makanenisa. And with me here today is my sister who is located during the service and the man of God ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Ulisani. I come from Tembisa. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simono located you and spoke upon your life. Would you kindly please tell us in detail what he said to you and please confirm it. The prophet told me about the moving things in my stomach, which is true. I told him that is true. I started to hear a moving thing in my stomach. I can confirm it's true. And how long has this been happening and how has it affected you? I think I've been, I started hearing it more in power last week, Sunday. I started hearing it. I think it's affecting me because I don't even have a job. Yes. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life and declared deliverance? I thank the God of Charis and I believe my deliverance will open more gates for me. Amen. And what words of encouragement do you have for somebody who's going to come across this video? I can say that coming to Charis is not a waste of time. God changed the situation. Amen. He can change it. Amen. Amen. I see you spending money unnecessary. Come here. God wants to give you a proper car. Thank you, man of God. You hear me? Thank you. Because you, wherever that you're touching, you lose it. A lot. You have lost ev almost everything. That's what I was seeing when I was looking at you. A lot. It's broken down in the many. So you have lost everything. Let's allow God to restore you. Please, man of God. Come here. free. You people are free. 